Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think we have a lot of people here today to discover some of our beach properties. Um, and we are going to hop around. We have a, a bunch. Actually, if you go to our website, you can do searches by, um, you know, seaside and stuff like that. And so you can use it as a filter or a theme to discover what places you can visit and what options you have. You can go to our mood board to kind of look for different themes um, as well. But this is our itinerary today. We're going to start um, in Mexico with Imanta Punta de Mita. Um, and then we actually are going to go to the Caribbean with Eden Rock Capcana. In Dominican Republic, we have Hotel Letuani in St. Barts, and then also Secret Bay in Dominica. Um, and then we'll end in Brazil with Chai Resort. So that is where we will be discovering today. Um, we also have a new member called Tiamo Resort in the Bahamas. It's new for us and it is actually reopening on November 1st and it is actually already loaded in the GDS and so you can access rates. Um, what is really cool is that they have these two and three bedroom villas. So this is another option if you're looking for getting away somewhere warm, especially if you're on the East Coast, that's kind of a quick flight over there for the winter. Um, Relay and Chateau, as you know, we have almost 600 members worldwide and they are all committed to preserving the local heritage and the environment. And with that said, today kind of being with these amazing beach destinations, the seaside food is really amazing. And so this is um, a hashtag, hashtag fish unknown, which is a program that Relay and Chateau chefs have come together to make every year. And they are committed to protecting our marine resources. And so every year um, they do this campaign online where they share recipes and they promote the sustainable seafood farming and recipes and um, the various different things to how to like kind of diversify your plate instead of um, serving overfished products and um, celebrating these kind of lesser unknown fish. That's a really cool thing about our chefs and our properties. GDS chain code is WB. We have your online access through our web TA portals and our reservation team is on standby in New York. And we have your Android apps and your iPad apps and your websites and your travel agent portal, of course. Your Route du Bonheur itineraries that we have online, your contact in the West and your contact in the East and our res team. And so this is the contact list of everyone that's here today. And again, as usual, I will be sending that out to you directly so you can um, access direct contact with our hoteliers. So we're gonna start with our, um, in Imanta with Hesley. She is our new sales director. Perfect, thank you very much. All right, Imanta Punta de Mitas, tell us about Imanta Resort. Absolutely. So, um, having me means Hesley Lara. I'm going to be presenting to you uh, today Imanta Resort. So, I think it's really important to start off with the history of Imanta. This is a Mexican uh, hotel boutique, just 10 suites, individual suites. Uh, they're very spacious, 1,000 square feet, and two uh, three bedroom uh, casonas. This, um, and this is, as I said before, this is a home Mexican owner. He's very passionate, he's very creative. He had to have something very unique and very, um, where people can actually reconnect with nature. So um, location, I think location has a lot to do. We're just 45 minutes away from Puerto Vallarta Airport. We're located just between Punta de Mita and Sayuri Town, which is just the perfect location. We have a very private beach for our clients to actually reconnect with nature. As an inventory, as I said before, we only have 10 suites, uh, individual suites. Uh, something very important about the suites that I personally love is the, the owner really wanted to preserve uh, the most amount of lush around the suites. So there's a lot of very natural elements to each one of them. Um, for example, one of my favorite things is the stone. A lot of the, the rocks and stones that were actually in Manta, he decided to leave them there and actually construct the suites around the stone. So for example, this stone was carved and turned into a beautiful tub. So these are very subtle things that make a difference in Imanta. There's also a lot of logs and different types of palm trees that were incorporated in part of the furniture of the, uh, each one of the suites. 
And this is actually one of our three bedroom casonas. Uh, this is 10,000 square feet, Casona Hawa. As I said before, two master uh, bedrooms and one individual suite, an amazing terrace that actually has a view of 360 of the ocean and also the jungle and lushness of Nayarit. And my favorite. So besides seeing Manta having 12 individual suites, we also have a tree house. This is actually part of the inventory. It's just five minutes away from Imanta. And it's very popular, it's very secluded. And the big thing about the tree house is besides the structure and feeling like it's actually part of the mountain, besides that, it actually has a private beach just for the couple and also a natural uh, waters, water, waterfall that, it, that actually is divided by, um, that actually turns into a beautiful uh, three set um, swimming pool. And being really in Chateau, obviously the colonial part is very important. We have two amazing restaurants that uh, mix a lot of the local cuisine, as actually uh, Emmy explained. A lot of the seafood has a lot to do with the destination, so you're going to find an amazing sarandiado fish here at Imanta. And the jungle spa. So the jungle, the owner also wanted to have something very, uh, very authentic. So the jungle spa is actually secluded in the jungle where your guests can actually have an amazing experience and at the same time listen to the jungle all around them. And also, for example, the palm trees and animals and birds. So it's, it's something very nice here. And obviously the warmth comes the best actually as part of the staff. You have um, Limon actually greeting you upon the arrival. You have Viviana giving you a very, um, greeting your guests to uh, where they can actually select one of their soaps they want to use, organic soaps, lavanda, cinnamon, different kinds. <clears throat> and to set off the day, we have Gabriel giving you an amazing margarita or signature uh, cocktail at the observatorio while, you, while your clients actually enjoy an amazing sunset, uh, um, sipping and seeing all the ocean. So thank you very much. I know this is just five minutes and I hope this information was very helpful. I don't know if anyone has any questions. That was so fast. Thank you. I did my um, best. <laughs> yeah, that was really fast. So Imanta is just up the road from the Four Seasons Punta Mita, and it's much more private. And um, I've been there myself, and it's really such a cool place because all the casitas are kind of all separate, and it feel. And even if the property is sold out, you feel like you're the only one there. <laughs> Because it's so, it's very ideal for the current, um, you know, physical distancing. I know. Um, John Jean has a, has a question about the treehouse, um, and the treehouse. I think you have to. How do you get to the treehouse? It's a little bit separate from the main hotel. It's, it? Yes, that is correct. Just five minutes away. Um, and you, and go you find that we have golf cart. We have a private golf cart, and they have a butler. So it's a very personalized experience. Okay, and what is the square footage of that treehouse? The treehouse uh, square footage, give me, I think it's around, if I'm not mistaken, 8,000 square feet. Okay. Because it's, it's a three-section three thing. Right, so it's three-tiered, and yes. I think only one has a roof, over, like, like the rest is kind of open. I mean, there's a the roof main over bedroom. There. The main right. bedroom, you're correct, Emmy. The okay. main bedroom is uh, does have the option for AC, so okay. that's the only one that actually has walls. Then the second, um, the second level is very open. It's an uh, amazing um, ocean view um, terrace. Let's put it that way. And then the third is like a mini bedroom, but that is totally open as well. Like a so, living room. Yes. Okay. So it's important to know that the tree house is like a tree house. So yeah. it's not enclosed. Um, so if you need an enclosed, I would probably go with one of the three bedroom villas. That is correct. Um, and the tree house technically is like a one bedroom, right? But it can, that second floor that's kind of open could be for kids, I guess. That's right. For example, it's, it's very nice for couples like honeymoons or a romantic getaway. It's just perfect for them. They feel like it's their very own home, just secluded in the mountains. So it's a good option for your clients. And somebody else asked, how far is it from the beach? I think it's just on the cliff. How, how, do, how do you get to the beach from the treehouse? Treehouse, it's walking distance. It's just getting all the way down and then right there you have your very own beach. So, so it's that's a really cool like, thing. It's literally in front of the beach and you just yes. have to walk. Is there stairs there? There's stairs all the way down. Just okay. uh, it takes me uh, three minutes. Okay, but it's it, there's nothing in between the treehouse and the beach. No, at all. Perfect. Um, there's another question. Laura asked. Um, yes, there is. Uh, I missed it. If there's a one bedroom unit, so I think all the rooms are, are one bedroom. 
the total of the the ten we have ten one bedroom suites, uh, different types of uh, types of views. Jungle we have ocean view, ocean front, and jungle deluxe. Uh, as I said, that's a jungle as well. So we have ten of those. Ten. Okay, so you've got ten yes. one bedrooms, and then two three bedrooms, and then the treehouse. That's right. Okay. Um, it looks like you're in the middle of nowhere, says Eileen. <laughs> um, how far are you from Salulita? We're just 10 minutes away from Sayulita, actually. As I said before, just 10 minutes away from Sayulita. We're right in between Sayulita and Punta Mita, so it's pretty much a good location for any And how far, is the, how far is the Four Seasons? From four Seasons, 15 minutes max. Minutes. 10, I would say, approximately as well. Okay, so it's just right up the little peninsula there, and it's That's a really right. great option for, the, for, the, um, for those seeking more privacy. Um, a lot of people, I think, come up to just have dinner from people who are staying in Four Seasons too. Yep. <laughs> um, do you have, last question, do you have inclusive option meals? At this moment, no. We're going to start working for probably next year. Uh, being really in Chateau right now, you know, giving that experience, sometimes we want to do something more tailored on la carte. So we might see it for next year, but for this year, no. <laughs> Perfect. So it's all a la carte. And they have like tequila tastings that they can do for your clients. And anyway, it's a really great, great option to consider. You have availability for Christmas and New Year's? Uh, just a little. We actually had a really good booking. Half of the hotel has already been reserved, and it's actually perfect for a lot of clients that have a big family, a group of friends. This is being a, just a small hotel boutique. It, it runs very nicely. So at this moment, we only have like six, six suites in total availability okay. for festive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we still do. So grab them when you can, guys. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Hesley. You're Beautiful welcome. property. Thank you. Um, Felipe, are you back? Felipe from Hotel Letuani, are you ready? Uh, yes, I am here. There you are. Sorry. Okay. Let me just re <laughs> reactivate uh, my camera. I am here. There you are. Right. So Felipe is from Hotel Letuani in St. Barts. Thank you, Amy. Hello to all, and uh, now welcome to St. Barts, um, our beautiful Caribbean island. I'll begin by telling you what has been happening for the past couple of months in St. Barts. We actually were open for business June and July, and we just closed this month of August and September, not because of the situation in the world, but thoroughly because this is the um, hurricane season for us here in this side of the Caribbean. So that's the reason why we are presently closed and our reopening date is scheduled for the end of October. So that's October 31st, and then of course, throughout the year. Uh, arrival into St. Bart's, this is uh, from any, any place in the US, it's actually quite simple, especially if you're in the East Coast a short uh, two and a half hour flights into San Juan, Puerto Rico or San Martin. Those are the main arrival hubs to our area of the Caribbean. And then a short 10 minute flight from San Martin or 45 minute ferry ride or a 45 minute direct flight from San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is what we usually recommend all of our guests coming from the US. Uh, St. Bart's is seven square mile island, so it's, it is quite small, but it's an island that truly has a, a whole package of activities to be done, fantastic hotels, great restaurants, gastronomy, obviously tax-free shopping as well, and a very much protected environment. Uh, St. Bart's is very green, there is very few buildings. Here you can see our city on the right, Gustavia, the main town. If you go all around the island, it will take you about 45 minutes, uh, 25 minutes from one corner to the other. And there is of course over 13 beautiful beaches to discover. And like I told you, great shopping of course, located in this uh, village called Gustavia, which is actually our main town. As you can see, there is no buildings in, uh, in, the, in the city, nor in the island itself. It's just little houses. So all the hotels are truly like scattered cabins throughout the mountainside or the beach areas. Uh, landing is quite spectacular as well. It's something that should be done at least once. The planes do dive into the mountain and then they touch down by the beach. So people are like waving to you, uh, welcoming you to St. Bart's and getting ready to uh, enjoy the beach over there. That is a quite a cool experience, especially on arrival. Now we're going to move into the 20. We have 22 suites total. All of them, like I told you, are little cabins. They are independent from each other. We have one or two bedroom units, as well as two bedroom that can interconnect. Uh, hotel was fully renovated four years ago after the hurricane destroyed the side of, our, of the Caribbean. We have our own private beach, which is the one you see on the picture. And all of the rooms share three characteristics. They're all built on a line, so they all do face the ocean. They also have at least 1,600 square feet of size, that is for a smallest junior suite. And then of course, as we rise, the size becomes larger. And last but not least, and very important, the fact that they all have their own private heated pools, like you can see here in this picture, 
with unblocked views of the ocean. So that's something truly cool and truly um, um, unique for St. Bart's. Uh, these are just examples of our, of our connecting suites or the two bedrooms, which are in a bit of a more modern style. They're also at least 2,000 square feet and above, and they all face the ocean. We are located on the Caribbean side of the island, so we do have our own private beach. Keep in mind that St. Bart's is very protected and it's very difficult to build. So our hotel is built on the hillside slope and our beach is just down below. Even though all the land belongs to us, we cannot truly build anything directly on the beach. So everything is like a wild protected area, but belongs to the hotel. Uh, we use this shuttle, which is a two-minute drive going down uh, through the slopes all the way to the beach. Once you get to the beach, we have a new pool over there. We have a great boutique, a restaurant open for lunch daily as well. You can enjoy the loungers, the floaters. There's a palm tree area with hammocks, a ping pong table. So it's truly a place where the guests can just spend the day. And then, of course, at the end, relax on the little spa that we have down by, by this area as well. Our beach is both a swimmable beach and it's a surfing beach. That's important to keep in mind for people that are much, much more active and want to take this type of opportunity. Uh, of course, as a Valley Chateau member, we take great pride in our food. So our second restaurant, Jared Adlitwani, won the Best Chef of the Caribbean Award last year. Uh, it's only 40 seats. It overlooks the, um, the ocean down below. It has a great bar as well. And of course, our chef uh, does great delicacies from the ocean, but he also takes advantage of local St. Bart's herbs. As you can see on the right hand side on the top, that is the, the shape of the island with the location of, of the 20 uh, done on that little leaf. So it's very artistic, but at the same time, very, um, very good. Uh, last but not least, we also have a four bedroom villa. This is the largest of our products located five minutes away from the hotel. This villa was owned by Rudolf Nureyev, the classic ballet dancer. Uh, he spent his last years here in St. Bart's between New York and St. Bart's. So the house is very, has a lot of cultural tradition to it. Four equally sized bedrooms, all of them face the ocean, over 8,000 8, square feet of size. Um, this house is truly located on the water. So all you see all around you is water, which is quite unique also for the island. And it's a short two minute drive from the hotel, two minute walk or uh, like one minute on the, on the golf cart drive to the hotel. It is not directly on the beach, but it offers all the access and exclusivity of the beach of the hotel as well. Uh, here you have a little resume of what we offer as of our reopening October 31st. So uh, rates starting at 1100. We have now um, put in place a cancellation policy of 72 hours before arrival. This is valid throughout the year with an exception of Christmas, of course, which is our big season. At that time, there is, um, there is um, a 45 day cancellation. Uh, otherwise we do have space still for Christmas and uh, we're putting forward um, another, another um, product called Make Late 20 Year Home which over nine nights, you will get many benefits as well as a cancellation 72 hours before arrival. So any information you need, you have my email, you have our website. So of course, or any can tell you as well. It is a pleasure to help you with anything you need here in St. Barts. Nine nights. I want to stay for nine nights. <laughs> no, it's make like 20 year home. So you can stay from nine till 99 and then you can just make <laughs> truly 20 year home. Make before. it my home. Yeah. I think I wouldn't mind spending the rest of the pandemic period there if I could. Sure. Um, so you made your way back from France to St. Bart's then, I see. I did, actually. Now I'm going to stay here throughout the, the reopening and then uh, throughout the year, I guess, yeah. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't feel sorry for you. No, um, at all. I'm very happy here. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about... Oh, I forgot a little detail. There is yep. a 72-hour PCR test to be brought to be able to access the island. And okay. the borders are fully open. And flights are incoming from San Juan, Puerto Rico and from San Martin as well on a daily basis. There is no... Uh, limit on this yet. Perfect. So it's open to Americans, to all right. Americans, every state? <laughs> uh, yes, there is no okay. restriction on states, correct. Okay, with the PCR test 72 hours prior, yeah. which seems yeah. to be accessible nowadays. Yeah, um, that is the only issue, of course. Okay, great. I have no is and the four bedroom villa is available for Christmas or? Uh, that one is still available, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm on it. Is all it? Right windward side or leeward I, I feel like you mentioned it briefly but i can't uh we're located towards the caribbean side so we are called the leeward islands but our hotel faces the interior side of the caribbean and not the atlantic side on the top okay perfect thank you any other questions um is the spa open and do you offer yoga uh so each one of our uh, of our little villas has its own yoga mats available for the guests they are a gift and they can take them with them the yoga classes are not included, they're extra. 
even though we have access to Allo Moves, which is an application, and there's a code that is given to every guest to access those online lessons. Um, otherwise, the spy is open. Yes, it is. Um, it is. A sh it is a small two um, two people maximum. But on the other hand, the only thing that is closed at the moment will be the gym. Okay, yeah. perfect. And the property is pretty. Like each each building is is one unit, so they're all exactly. So they're like super social distancing equipped. Uh, very much. You will not cross anybody if you don't want to cross anybody. Everything is very strict on that sense. Yeah. Perfect. Hi, Ali. Um, Le 20 is opening October 31st. So yes, it will be open in November. Yes, absolutely. So start booking them. And I saw, I peeked in there and there is availability loaded. So we are yeah. good to book. And it's warm over there. So I mean, all these winter bookings, we will start sending your way. Yeah, of course, the 72 hour cancellation, I think that'll be great as well, because that allows a lot of flexibility, obviously. Yes, because I think people are just nervous to book yeah, and then cancel absolutely. and book. All right, great. Thank you. And get and I think Thank he's you. helping um preparing the property for opening and I'm actually doing some paint painting in the new boutique. So I'm gonna go ahead and help with them with that right now. All right. Thank you for Thank being you. a team. Thank player. you guys for your time. Thank you, Felipe. Thank you. Bye. All right. So from La Twenty, we'll stay in the Caribbean and we'll pop over to Eden Rock with Juliana to Capcana in the DR. Juliana, are you ready? I think you're muted. Can you un? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm, I'm the last one. Uh, oh, sorry, not Juliana. Eden Ro yeah. <laughs> Rosalind. Oh, no, sorry. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I got my Caribbeans all crisscrossed. I'm sorry. Juliana's like, well, I'm in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <doesn't> <laughs> sorry, oh, Felipe's no. misorders turned me around. Rosalind from Eden Rock in Capcana in the Dominican Republic. Yes, okay, so I'm going to share my computer. Great. Thank you. Okay, so hi everyone, my name is Rosalind Castillo, Director of Sales of Eden Rock Capcana uh, in the Dominican Republic. Um, also happy to say that uh, Relais Chateau, we are um, the only ones in the Dominican Republic to be part of Relais Chateau, which is great for our brand. So this is the beautiful Eden Rock in the uh, ex uh, exclusive area of Capcana. So let's talk about a little bit about the airport. I was mentioning to Emmy before that I was able to go to the hotel like a couple of weeks ago and really the airport's doing a great job in regards to social distancing and taking care of all the clients that they are arriving, taking their temperatures. And again, you will see all these um, all these things that I'm showing you right now on the picture is really what is happening at the airport. So I'm really taking care of that. Also, the government is not asking for any testing. They're doing random tests. And also if someone gets sick and hopefully that's not the case, but the government is offering um, medical services and cha um, changes on airlines or paying for any type of accommodations that they need to do. Uh, something very important to mention. So let me go quick to the hotel itself. So we are um, divided, not divided, but we have two sections. The first section, which is our villa section. We have 34 private villas with independent uh, private pools. So this goes from a junior suite all the way to a four bedroom imperial villa. This is our lobby at the villas. So you can have an idea of how we are divided. So we have two lobbies. The first one here, like I said, by the villas. Uh, we have a concierge also that takes care of everyone. Um, it can be digital or it can be also in person. So we have the complete services. All our casitas um, are have their own air conditioning. And like I said, we have 34, all of them with the private pool. Even uh, your Rano house, which is our luxury junior suite, the Rano house does also have a pool outside and it has, uh, this is the bedroom. Um, only one uh, section for two people and of course a beautiful bathroom that has an outdoor shower, indoor shower, bathtub and a huge walk-in closet uh, which is great uh, for couples. Um, we also have after that well the one bedroom uh, luxury pool one bedroom suite which is this a separated part from the bedroom so you have your living space, you have the bedroom separated by a door and then of course the outdoor pool. So again, and the villas, you know, goes from the junior suite and then it goes up. 
um, on sizes. This is our family suite. We have only four of these uh, with bunk beds and they all have um, the dividing area, which is the living room area and also the bedroom for the parents in this case. Um, after this family suites, then we move on to the two bedroom villa, which again, as you see, they're getting bigger. Um, the common area in the middle, and then we have double queen in one side, and then we have a king size bed in the right side of this um, room, if I'm looking at it like this. Um, then the three bedroom royal villa and the four bedroom imperial villa, they both come with a butler service and chef service as well. So this is for bigger families, a three bedroom, it can fit up to six people. And then of course you will have like entire living room, dining room area, they come with their own kitchen. Uh, this four bedroom is a double, is a double floor. So it comes uh, for, you can fit 10 people here, the ceilings are bigger. So the spaces again are much, much uh, bigger again. Um, and the full kitchen as well. We do have grocery services in case they're requested. And then we move on to the beach area. So it is like a three minute ride on your golf cart to go to the beach. And the beach area, we have a one and two bedroom beach front suites. So you have a, uh, your living room space. This is the bathroom. Um, if you book a two bedroom beach for suites, then you have a double queen and a king size bed in the other side. And all these beach for suites comes with the kitchen. So we have a total of 26 uh, two bedroom beach for suites in these buildings uh, total. And then again, the buildings are two floors. So in this now in the case uh, after COVID that people are nervous to go into the elevator, uh, really you can just go up and down the stairs and it's very easy to go up and down. Um, here the rooms are the buildings again are very small. So the bottom floor of your terrace will have a direct access to the beach and the second floor you will have of course the view of the beautiful beach. Then we move to the ocean uh, bungalows. We have five bungalows. As you see here, they're all at the ocean with a private pool as well. We have one and two bedroom uh, bungalows and the decoration here is different. So for example, this is a picture of a two bedroom comes their own pool. You know, the inside is um, very rustic and very uh, private, again, very romantic. These are the bedrooms that they really, we sell them the most. Um, they don't have a living room area. It's just the bedrooms, either a double bed or a king size bed. Now our restaurants also uh, right now are cha changed a little bit after COVID, like I said before. Uh, we are taking reservations for all our restaurants just to keep the distance in all the guests. We are not filling up the restaurants or the hotel itself. It's just 15% uh, occupancy right now. So this restaurant is um, open for dinner. Then we have the Palapa, which is at the beach. This is uh, currently also open for lunch and dinner. And the Blue um, is only open for breakfast at this time. And the breakfast is being served outside a la carte, we don't have the buffet anymore. Uh, but again, this is um, all the protocols that we took place after COVID. Uh, our bars also have a limited access with reservations. And our main pool, um, as you see, because we do have a total of 38 pools at the hotel, which 34 are only uh, at, the, at the rooms. So that maybe, uh, you know, kind of give you a sense of what we are right now. Um, our beach is open. Uh, the services are done. And then we have, um, you know, this is our beach area with beautiful lounges. We have QR codes for clients, you know, to make reservations, to ask for food. Also at our spa, we are keeping the reservations at minimum two or three massages, maybe services indoors. Most of the activities we are doing it outdoors. Uh, we have a ton of space at the hotel so we can really do like meditation or yoga classes or any massage at their villas as well. Then Capcana itself, it has all the other adventures to do around the area. We have the golf course, which is right next to us. The marina uh, is around 10 minutes. You can do like, we can do like a fishing excursion here. So it's very nice. Uh, the equestrian center, also around five minutes away from Eden Rock. You can use your golf cart to come here. Uh, you can do like horseback riding. We do polo, uh, polo games as well. Um, and then we have this beautiful park that is uh, open for, I think it's three times a week only right now, but you can do like zip lining and all other activities for the family. 
So again, you know, to just talk a little bit about what we are implementing, like I said before, social distancing on the restaurants or at the beach, uh, we keep it at the minimum. The hotel right now is a minimum occupancy, so that's why it's great for us to be uh, dividing everyone. Transfers are being done by the property, so it's a private transfer. The room service menu also being done uh, differently now. It has more items. And the staff, honestly speaking, it's been people that they are just living in the Capcana area. And two weeks ago when I was there, they were running testing for everyone. So to make sure that we are really doing this like every, like every two weeks. Uh, so Stefano, which he is the general manager, he was running this test for the employees. So, I mean, this is basically it. Um, our Eden Rock private beach, as you see in this beautiful picture. So it was great for you to have this time and thank you, Emmy, for everything. And if you have any we, other questions. Yes, we have a couple of questions. Thank you, Rosalind. Does Eden Rock have a minimum requirement stay for festive season? We do. We have a seven nine minimum stay for festives uh, right now. Um, so, but again, due to the protocols, we are not like trying to fill the property because we have a total of 65 rooms. <laughs> right. So, you know, we're taking the reservations as they come. Okay, great. Um, does each casita or bungalow have their own golf cart? And if, if the ones that they do, what is the minimum age to drive a golf cart? Uh, that's a good question. But I mean, anybody up to 18 years old and up is legal in the Dominican Republic. Okay, okay so you have to be 18. Yeah. And okay, then yeah. Uh, the golf carts at the bungalows, you can request them. And also at the beach club, you, if the client would like a, a golf cart, we can request it. They all have parking lots outside, but the ones that 100% comes with the golf cart are the villas. Okay, great. Um, and what is the most private of the accommodations? And I think she asked uh, a question about the golf carts. The, about the, the, the most private one, it will be the oceanfront bungalows. They are very uh, like, secluded like in the middle of the ocean you can see the beautiful so those are the first ones that we always sell <laughs> okay okay great and probably like the larger three-bedroom villas too yeah yeah mm -hmm. they are they are not separate all our villas are separated from each other you know like little houses they have the driveway and they have the little backyard and then you move to the next one like, like that so it's it's a very nice um distribution okay great thank you so much Eden well, Rock thank you, Emmy. Open. Yeah, thank you again, Rosalind. Um, we're going to stay again in the Caribbean, um, but we're going to hop over to another island, Dom Dominica. Is that how you say that, Dinesh? That's right, Emmy. It's Dominica. Everyone, my name is Dinesh. We German age your secret bay in Dominica. Our we new just... kid on the block. They are new members as of this year, right? Well, last yeah, year? Last year, last year, October. Last year, October. we just been like, you know, been about almost a year now. We bought a Brilliant Chateau. Uh, we just been named number one resort in the Caribbean, Bermuda and Bahamas, by Travel and Leisure, number six in the world. Uh, Congratulations! 2020 award, you know. So we're super excited, powered up about that, and just coming at the right time. So Dominica always confused to be the Dominican Republic, which we're not. You know, always like I'm also like you know I can say when I've been hired for a job, I always thought like the Dominican Republic. So I don't blame anybody thinks about it <laughs> but Dominica itself is a nature island branded as a nature island of the Caribbean has a lot of adventure uh, like you know it's the only Caribbean island that has so much to offer compared to the Latin American countries where you have a lot of adventure going on as well and be it on land or at sea there's so much that you can get to enjoy but the best thing right now CDC um, recommends Dominica to be one of the lowest countries to travel and um, and as well there's no quarantine and you guys can enjoy like no one, anyone coming from high risk countries from North America or from Europe can enjoy like, you know, from day one, any activities that's organized on property. The government does require a PCR test 72 hours prior to your, to your arrival. And on, on arrival at the airport, you do a rapid test at no cost where you get your result within 30 minutes. So these are like procedures that have been put in place by the government. But Dominica, what makes it best is only a handful of hotels, 70,000 people on island only, and no mass tourism, which is just great and make it fantastic. And from the land, land activities, there's so much from the hiking trail, which is the longest hiking trail in the Caribbean, to like, you know, jumping out the canyons, which is like favorite activities of everybody, or even hiking to the boiling lake, which is the second best in the world, second largest boiling lake in the world. 
And then at sea, there's one thing that set Dominica apart from the rest of the Caribbean, which is like the sperm whales, which are the resident whales of Dominica, where you can swim with them and the resort organize a permit for you. So that's something like, you know, it's a bucket league experience for many. As much as diving and snorkeling, which is always fantastic in the Caribbean, that's what, what set Dominica apart from the rest. So Dominica, to come to Dominica, the best way, there's no direct flights from the US, unfortunately. I always believe the best places in the world you cannot reach, you cannot reach too easily. You have to kind of hop in on a flight or stop somewhere else. So there's different, like now, the various routes available. And San Juan seems to be the best route that you could use, and Barbados and Antigua, St. Lucia, which is like now all improving with lots of new players coming in regionally to service Dominica because it's one of the most booming places to go now in 2020, 2021. So Secret Bay is on the northwest of Dominica, very secluded on the island uh, where beautiful sunset. We have only six villas on the property. And very soon, in a matter of month, one month, we're going to have 10 villas where we're building more villas on this side here, where it's just going to be, make it fantastic. So we offer a six star experience. The reason behind all the villas comes with their private butler and the, and the attached concierge. So which means you come into your residential house and you're feeling like you're coming to your, like, you know, your private home, like, you know, where your staff are just waiting for you to just pamper you. We, we, all, the, all the villas are on the cliff elevated for an unobstructed view, and all of them are ocean-facing, which just gives fantastic, come with heated pools, and as well a gourmet kitchen, where a chef can come to your villa to cook. So it's a luxury of time and space, and how I describe Secret Bay. Right now, we're all talking about social distancing, physical distancing. At Secret Bay, there's no formal checking at all. The guests arrive right away in front of your villa. It's a feeling like you're coming to your private home, like I mentioned. The privacy and seclusion from 3,000 square feet in terms of about the living space that you have in your villa, and of course, six-star experience is the rule, not the exception in terms of the level of service, how we personalize and curate your whole experience. The Zabuco Villas, which is like a favorite of many people, um, like, you know, it's a one bedroom, one bathroom villa, but it's 3,000 square feet, which gives you that beautiful view. You can see like almost 300, 300 degrees of ocean right in front of you. And uh, the way it's just been built, it's like, you know, it's all air conditioned. You can open up completely in your villa to let that fresh air coming in. Where there's no mosquitoes issues because they're all nestled in the, we have a very good system that we introduced in 2018 and the elevation makes it just right so that you don't have any mosquitoes issues. So all the villas, like, you know, we're having your private butler that don't change face from day one until you leave, even prior to COVID. That's been how our, like, you know, the, our successful, I would say our success. And that's why we're trying to replicate it with additional of another four villas. And the hillside Tiffa villas where it's our three houses, how we call it and a two-story tree house where like you know, it's great for families a family of four can easily be accommodated there and of course like you know maybe your butler is taking care of your family of, of the kids the kids can go to the pool they have their own tv they have their own bathroom space and that just give it perfect and that's the couple's room upstairs that you can have at elevation and for you to enjoy the ocean view and the ilang ilang which is our entry category which is ideally nestled in the nature uh, it's, this is the only villa that we have a living room open and uh, the reason like, you know, we maintain these two villas, like we have a lot of honeymooners and empty nesters kind of feel like, we just feel like we want to connect into nature. And that's why they, they, they felt like, you know, we, we have to maintain it after the hurricane hit us in 2018. And Zing Zing, of course, being a land chateau, like any other, other properties, the hoteliers, we, we have a new chef on board from Portugal. He's a Michelin star chef. Just join us. And I like, you know, very excited, like, you know, just in time for winter, and getting ready. Um, and he's, he's from a mission background. So we're very excited to have him on board. And of course at Zing Zing, it's a local, uh, local hyper local menu, which is like four course dinner where the guests don't know what they're having. It's a no menu concept. Every element on your plate has a story to it. The chef comes to your table and speak to you. So it's that very personal life because everybody has different allergies, interests, preferences, the farm to table, city table concept. You forage your property. Each villa has its own organic garden. And so where you can forage in the morning, you take like fresh herbs to make your, your bush tea or as well, like, you know, any herbs for your, like, you know, if you want to garnish anything, your tomatoes, your, your melons coming right in front from your villa. So these are all the experience that people get to see. Like, you know, we're very much into the sustainable concept as well, where we're being part of Lynn Chateau and how we develop ourselves in the future. And of course, amenities from spa to, to yoga and uh, all these elements, like, you know, wellness is paramount at Secret Bay, being a nature island of the Caribbean, you have like, you know, what a substantial element of wellness. 
and uh, we, we guests can enjoy every every amenities as much in their comfort space or at the amenity. Um, so we have like from this part of yoga, you can have everything in your villas, like you know, this is what's available at Secret Bay. It's always that personalized service. And of course, like you know, two beautiful beaches on property, but you can get to enjoy it's very secluded and very private. So right now we have beautiful, like you know, we have some great offers going on from like, you know, we have a, an offer for five, 10, 14 nights stay where you get like, you know, multiple nights up to four nights complimentary with a lot, a lot of different perks from dinners, from spa and everything. And we've been open since August 8th. We've had like very decent occupancy. We're almost running a hundred percent occupancy for almost uh, three weeks in a row and long stay, a lot of long stay. So we've been very happy about that. And we've just been, uh, got back on Virtuoso as well. So any of you who are Virtuoso agents, like you now we'll be more than happy for you to get your perks. Thank you very much, Amy. I'm happy to answer Brilliant. you. Brilliant. Thank you, Dinesh. I just wanted to let you know, I got a text message from Tiago in New York, and he said he just booked your property for 11 nights for February. So wow. the property is filling up. <laughs> filling up really nicely. We do have some space for winter and Thanksgiving, but yeah, Tiago messaged me yesterday as well. He was asking me some questions about, <laughs> about our booking. I'm so excited. Great. Thank you. Um, Nancy asked if um, these open air villas, does that mean there's no AC? No, all the villas have air condition, the bedroom, and the only the Ilang Ilang, which is our entry category villa, the living room, it's an open, it's an open space. Okay. So, like, the bedroom is air conditioned. Okay, great. Um, this is great. I think um, somebody's asking about the Virtuoso perks, but because not everyone is Virtuoso, maybe um, we can send you an email later, Irvin. Um, all right. I think that is it. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Dinesh. Secret Bay yes. in Domin Do Dominica. <laughs> Dominica, that's right. <laughs> great, 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 great. Um, let's pop over to our last destination in Brazil. Thank you, Dinesh. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, Dinesh, Welcome. Sorry, one quick question. How far are you from the airport? We're about 15 minutes from the airport, 5 0. 15 minutes, 5 0. 50. Okay, got it. Five Perfect. Zero. 5 0. Brilliant. Thank you. Is the gym open? <laughs> sorry, they keep popping up. No. <laughs> sorry, we, we don't have a gym right now, like, you know, as a space, but all the villas, we're getting equipment to be placed in all the villas just to, okay. uh, to, you know, to allow the guests to enjoy their, if they need in, in, in a gym. And yoga? Yoga in the villa or at like, you know, we have, um, or we have a dedicated wellness pavilion just on top of a river. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Laura Capitani said thank you. Um, okay, so our last stop is in Brazil. And then after that, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on up in Napa um, with all the fires in California. So we're going to pop over to Brazil with Juliana. Hi, everybody. I'm Juliana. And uh, I'm the commercial and events coordinator at Chai Resort, and I will be presenting our resort to you. Uh, the hotel name pronounced as Chai, let's this one, is Chai, and uh, is linked to the Kashinawa indigenous language, and uh, it means companion, because uh, we receive the, our guests with a smile on the face, and the guest feels as if he is at the, his beach house. And um, our nearest airport is in, located in Ilhéus. Uh, the connection required in Salvador or Sao Paulo. We have a VIP room at the airport. And uh, when, if you are in the Ilhéus airport, uh, it's just 50 minutes drive from the hotel. The closest city to the hotel is Itacaré. This city are colonized by Purdue uh, Portuguese people and has an Afro culture and uh, you can eat in some restaurants, uh, local restaurants, it's very good. Chai is located in a preserved area and by the sea and with two miles of desert beach and crystal clear all the year. Uh, it's just 3% building and um, we have 38 accommodations. It's all, all of our beach, pictures of our beach. And we have 38 accommodations between bungalows and apartments. 
the most reserved of all accommodations is our premium bungalow and we have two of them and they are they have a, a private room just a moment this one is our luxury bungalow and is also located in a reserved area and is 70 meters but uh, they don't have the the private pool okay the superior bungalow it's the the first category of bungalows we have two locations one in the hill with the ocean view and the other one near to the beach just uh, five uh, 50 meters the luxury mezzanine apartment is the best option for their families because they have one double bed in the first floor and in the mezzanine they have two beds single beds and it's our apartments the first category we have two types of them the luxury one be in in this one you have the clean view the ocean the ocean view and uh, the superior apartment is the the first category we have five swimming pools one of these is hated and located in our spa the name of our spa is, is shamashi and uh, also offers different of types different types of messages relaxing treatments and as well yoga and meditation class uh, at this time uh, for the coronavirus pandemic we are working with two types of message our our gastronomy is international with a bayan bahia, bahia touch <laughs> we have two bars and two restaurants but uh, they do they doesn't work with in the same time this one is the orishas restaurant is the the lunch the dinner restaurant and this one to the lunch near to the beach we have also a tours uh oh i think she might be i think we we lost juliana for a second let's give her a moment to come back juliana poa farm too ah, you're back we lost you for a second sorry go ahead yeah It's okay? Yes, go ahead. Okay, Amy. And so we have the a lot of a lot of, a lot of types to to do near to the hotel too. Uh, Chai supports so system of tourism with lectures uh, at school for children to become aware of caring for the nature and also we have families uh, from the region we, registered at the hotel and these families produce vegetables and uh, handcrafts and the hotel buy these things to serve in our restaurants and this one is our other project the name is chai taruga is the uh, about the turtles and we the hotel monitoring the turtles birth on our beach and uh, in all the region near to the hotel five or six bits near to the hotel and uh, in addition the hot the guests find uh, other facilities and services in just a single location with us uh, we are reopened uh, in august and and in the some one month ago and what if we are following safety protocols to everything to stay stay in a good location and can do our, your trip it's just this thank you right. thank you juliana and you are open to american no yeah oh, no 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 yeah. because the american couldn't couldn't arrive here in brazil but yeah. uh, we hope in in uh, in uh, we will open in a few days yeah okay perfect great thank you so much um any questions for is it shy resort you said i said shy yeah oh, it is shy, shy. okay yeah. i was like was I saying it wrong this whole time okay <laughs> thank you juliana i don't see any questions for you but in the meantime while we wait if you do have any questions pop those in the q a box um i just wanted to touch briefly on 
Um, I know some of you are here from, oh, is there AC in the bedrooms? Juliana? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. That's okay. Is there air conditioning in the bedroom? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All the rooms all are, have. Yeah, okay. all of it. Um, somebody is saying, wait a second, I thought Brazil was open to U.S. travelers. So Brazil is not open to U.S. travelers? Just if change anything, I think no. But we will open a new in a few days. Okay. To the hotel? The hotel, the hotel or... are open. The okay. hotel are open. Okay. But you are not open to Americans right now. Is that what you're saying? Okay. It seems like, Jade, it seems like things are changing all the time. Is there a website, Juliana, that we can check to get the most updated information on Brazil? I don't know. Okay. I, I think that I'll, I'll, I, okay, I'll, I'll I, I, I could check you. and send you food. Okay, perfect. Maybe I'll try to set, um, Jade is saying that she's checking, she checked with Ayata. So maybe it's changing all the time. Oh, there is a, um, here. Somebody put it in the um, in the chat room, so I'll copy that. Thank you, Igor. Um, I'll put it to um, to everyone Thank in you, the chat box here. There you go. That should be. Oh, there's the IATA. Um, okay, so real quick, I'm going to pop over to put our attention on California, which has been on fire. Um, and it's been really horrific over here. I think some of you have seen that that really, you know, crazy picture of Meadowood on fire. Um, now, I just want to address it very quickly because that was the restaurant at Meadowood. And from what we understand, there, there 